there are boats and there are boats and I'm on a yacht of the latter category that's to say I'm on a super yacht not the kind of super yacht that Roman Abramovich floats around in but a, a super yacht in every other sense of the word in that she's beautifully designed sails brilliantly I'm told she's a Swan 411 designed by Sparkman and Stevens we're here in Cowes uh, thanks to her owner John Bailey who's kindly going to take us off for a sail this afternoon um, to, well, the destination is yet to be disclosed, but uh, I'm really looking forward to it. What I really like about my boat is it's, it's the design, it's, a, it's an s, &S uh, fantastic design, uh, built by probably some of the best boat builders in the world, Norte Swans. Um, it's a modern day classic, uh, you know, it's, it's a plastic boat, um, but it's got masses of wood in it. Um, it's sailing performance is absolutely outstanding. You, you never have any fear about going out in any conditions, although I, I don't go out in bad conditions, um, but you always feel absolutely safe and sound in this boat. Fantastic upwind performance. Um, what more could you ask? My previous boat was a, a She 36, which was a Sparkmas and Stevens designed boat. Absolutely amazing boat, fantastic sea keeping qualities, uh, fast, classic lines, um, but a bit short on room. So, when the opportunity arose to buy virtually the same design boat but larger, but built to you know, Nautus One standards, um, I went ahead and bought this boat. Um, haven't looked back really since. Um, it's a modern day classic, um, which uh, I know is probably controversial to the wooden, wooden guys, but it's, it's an amazing part of a maritime history. I mean, these are, these are absolutely outstanding boats um, in terms of build quality, uh, in terms of its ability to cope with virtually any conditions that are thrown at it. It's, it's one of those boats where the people will give up before the boat will give up. Um, I, uh, you know, I just it's, it's a boat you can have a love affair relationship with, um, which on some of the modern, more modern boats you'd struggle to do. So here we are in Paul, Paul Harbour, in the Paul Marina, part of the Old Town Quay. Uh, we had a cracking sail, we only had 10 knots apparent from the north, so we had a beam reach of 6 knots we were doing, very easily in that very light wind. Uh, the wind back to the west, so we then were tacking out towards the needles, but close haul she was still doing 5.5 knots, that's with main staysail and Genoa. Uh, we later set the asymmetric kite and had a bit of fun with that and all in all it was a, a brilliant sail.
Yeah, that's impressive, John. I like the forward compartment because it's completely self-contained. You can shut yourself off in there. And as you've said, you've had crew come and they can just use that to their heart's content and yeah. you can yep. luxuriate in glory here. Yeah, yeah. I was going to go up that, but I want to have a look through the hatch because I know you've got to go across the bridge deck to get yeah, into the cockpit. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just going to have a look okay. at that. The main hatch on this boat is unusual in that it is disembodied from the cockpit. It's a very weatherly feature, so if a big sea comes aboard, if the boat is pooped, it can't break down into the cabin below. This can be completely sealed off. The downside with that is that as you come out of here, crew change, you have your harness on, you've got to lock it into a fitting in there, because you've got to come across this bridge deck into the cockpit, so you are now quite exposed. A lot of swans are cutter rigged. And so is this one, but she wasn't originally. Originally, she was a masthead sloop. John has fixed his baby stay up permanently, so she's now rigged as a cutter. And these are what are known as check stays. When it's blowing hard, unclips them, brings them back aft, and they act as an extra stay on the rig. So John has had a new bow roller fitted, which holds this Rockner anchor, 25 kilogram anchor. That isn't the reason he had it fitted, he had it fitted because it's also part of this bowsprit fitting which uh, takes the asymmetric kite which we flew yesterday. This is a Sparkman and Stevens Swan 411 and when owner John Bailey bought her 15 years ago the surveyor told him she's a total wreck but she's sound and that is what you get with a class boat. She was worth restoring and he did so. Paid 65 grand for the boat and spent another 155 on it. But he's got a boat the like of which is the Bentley of the seas.